Good day, everyone. I hope everyone had a super wonderful weekend. I thought I'd come on today and this week and and share a little bit of Beltane with you. Blessed Beltane to everyone out there. I don't think I'm going to bore you with all of the minutia of details as far as Beltane is concerned, but I wanted to show you my Beltane altar. And what I'll do is I'll go from the left to the right. So of course flowers and uh, my candles for Hecate. Some really glorious seashells because as some of you may know, or maybe maybe you don't, but I'll go ahead and share anyway. I'm from the Gulf Coast, so the beach and seashells mean quite a bit to me. And as odd as this sounds, I typically don't spell for money. I just, I simply, that's something I just don't do and haven't done. But for some reason, and as cheesy as this looks, it's it's a uh, like a dollar store frog. But I've got a little bit of pyrite up under him and some coins. And he he has some incense burning. Looks like he's smoking, which, I mean, you know. But as odd as it sounds, I've, he's been a regular part of my altar now, gosh, for a good while, and believe it or not, it really is working. Money's coming in, maybe not by the boatloads, but it's still coming in, so I'm very thankful for that. And I'm still charging my protection ball that will go to someone, not quite sure who, and my keys and my capice tea light candle holder that I bought the other day. I think it's quite pretty. And I'll, I'll share a little bit more of that in the outhouse in just a little bit. And of course birds because I seem to have a really strong connection to birds and woodland creatures. And again, I'll have to segue into that into a, in a moment. But um, as I go here very often on my altars you'll see one white pillar candle and a feather or two. And there's Bast. The white candle is for my uh, two pets that I lost in the last five years or so. Um, I, I guess I kind of turned my Beltane altar into a little bit of an ancestral altar as well because they've joined me today. And along with um, some of my, my grandmother's crochet, there's another one over here, up under this, which frogs, of course, yes, the frogs are here. But, um, so they're joining me today, and if and if they want to come, then that would be awesome. But um, the feathers, the turkey feathers, are from when I lived in another city. And every day, I would go down to a very, very large backyard. And beyond that backyard was a gosh, probably 20, 30 acres that was someone else's. But um, I had a flock of turkeys that would come every day and I would put out a little bit of corn. And I got to the point where after just a couple of months, they would just come right up to me. And so this is their deposits. And so I kept them. And of course, I'm no longer living there, but I've kept them all this time. And I uh, hope Buddy and Ginger, Buddy is a rescue from a hurricane, and Ginger I adopted when I was in Nova Scotia uh, in school, and she was a wonderful, wonderful kitty. She was quite sassy, but I uh, went back to college when I was in Nova Scotia, and uh, she got me through some tough times. Uh, and Buddy we return the favor to him because his health was never great and we got him through some tough times. And so we're bring, burning some rose incense here and of course a black and a white candle for protection and purity, of course. And of course this is for my power and of course my cleansing selenite. And I always, always have my pendulum with me. Uh, I'm not sure if I've ever shown you my pendulum or even explained it to you, but um, had someone make this for me. It opens up, 
so with whatever crystal or stone or whatever I feel compelled or herb even that I feel compelled to I can put it in here close it up latch it up and use it so I've had it for quite a long time it's, it's a, a wonderful piece and now back to the woodland creatures anyway this this is this is my Beltane altar and um, now the outhouse, yes, I know the outhouse. Well, gosh, I had to, I had to buy that because uh, I have an outhouse on my property, which is Whitetail Hollow, and it is at probably the most northern point of Tennessee that you can get. I mean, if you were from the south, you would say, "Well, I'm within spitting dis 